Welcome to Quick Flicks. Our film today is a mystery thriller called Iron Doors. The opening scene shows a man lying down in a vault. Waking up to find a dead rat beside him, he tries to open the door but is unable to do so. There is no reply when he shouts this isn't a joke and he needs to pee. He then laments that if he doesn't get out in time he might lose his job. He tries to use his cell phone, but it doesn't take a signal. He screams saying that he doesn't have time for pranks. The locker door moves as if it looks like it's going to open, but it doesn't. After a few minutes, he takes a piss at the corner of the room to try and fit in with whatever is happening. When the door cannot be opened, he threatens to take a dump in the vault. He bangs on the vault door, screaming at the top of his lungs and throwing out curses as he paces the floor. He tries to break down the locker door located in the vault. Some time passes and he calms down. He says he is very thirsty and needs to drink water. As the scenes cut back to day two, maggots can be seen coming out of the dead rats and flies disturb the man. As he sits down, he lists three items, a vault locker and a dead rat. Tired, he checks his phone and wristwatch for some signal and time moments later. He takes a piss inside his shoe and says, he's going to terminate the person doing this to him. A little while later, he drinks the urine. He exclaims the urine is refreshing and looks at the vault door as if he sees someone and says, are you happy now? Now unstable, he jumps up trying to break the vault lamp and lashes out curses again. After some time, he observes the lamp closely and breaks it down. Inside the shattered glasses of the lamp, he finds a key and concludes that this is some kind of test. He goes over to the locker and opens it with the key he just found. On opening the locker, he finds some equipment in it. He eventually figures he can use the equipment to unlock the vault and gets down to it. After some time, he sets up a blowtorch using the gas cylinder he found and some other equipment. He tries to set off the fire alarm with the flames coming from the torch but it doesn't work out. He then moves to the vault door to burn it open but it has no effect. Now furious he goes wild and breaks the water sprinkler located above the vault. He stands for a moment and after a while he decides to calm down and thinks how to get water. Shortly afterward he sits down and assures himself that this isn't a dream and he is locked in the vault by someone. He concludes the person behind his suffering wants him dead. He determines he is going to get out of the vault and punish whoever is responsible. Standing up, he tries to make a hole in the vault's wall using a chisel and a hammer. But he gets dust in his eyes and screams. This doesn't stop him as he continues trying to make the hole. Some time passes, and he stops after getting tired. He continues again making progress each time. Moments later, he stops and gasps for air he tries to get oxygen from the gas cylinder. Upon doing so, he faints. After waking up, he concludes that he can't escape without eating. He goes over to the dead and decaying rat and feeds on the maggot coming from it. He decides to eat the flies later. He urinates in his shoes and drinks it again. A while later, he goes back to digging the hole. After digging to a point, he discovers the wall has iron bars in it. He makes use of the blowtorch in getting rid of the iron bars. In the next scene he is seen snoring but wakes up after getting disturbed by flies. He continues digging the hole. After a while he could see the other side. He then tries to make the hole bigger to contain him then he gets through to the other side. But finds it leads to another vault room. He tries to open the door but remains unsuccessful. He gets frustrated and shouts at the top of his lungs. Up next walking around the second vault room. He finds a coffin lying in one corner. He gets the chisel from the first vault room and opens the coffin. He finds a woman inside of the coffin. She comes out and goes through the hole to the other vault room. She says some words in another language which the man doesn't understand. Frightened and confused, the woman walks around the room and sits down in a corner. Day 3. He is seen sleeping in the coffin when the woman comes and wakes him. She gives him the chisel pointing out they have to find a way out. He tells her to pick which side of the wall she thinks leads out. She makes her pick and he gets to work telling the woman to hold the chisel against the wall while he tries to hit it with the hammer. She gets scared and removes her hand. They exchange positions and he tells her to hit the chisel with the hammer. She hits the chisel with the hammer but couldn't get enough force on it to make a significant impact on the wall. 
After some time he reminisces on how he got into the vault, trying to go back to the last thing he remembers which was him inside a bar. He asks the woman a question but she answers in a language he doesn't understand. She tries to dig the hole again but this time she injures herself. She moves to the other vault room trying to take a piss on the floor but he stops her. He tells her to urinate in his shoe so he can drink it. Then they both drink from the shoe. He then tries to eat the dead rat but she stops him. After some time she mutters some words which were translated letting us know she's from Africa. Just then he tells her he knows some African song and he is willing to sing it for her. He does this while trying to dig through the wall. She joins him in singing and they both smile. As he digs he hits his hands and screams. The woman helps him to tie the wounded hand with her scarf. He then holds the chisel with the other hand and tells her to hit it with the hammer. While doing this the vault door moves and they both rush to it. They try to get it open but they couldn't open the door. And he figures out that the person responsible for their suffering is only teasing them. Later on they resume digging and the vault door moves again. He tells her that he has got it figured out and tells her not to look at the door as it moves. They both walk backwards to the door and as the door opens the duo discovers another room with a coffin-sized hole in the floor. The duo picks a side in the hole and starts digging. Some time passes he gets tired and falls. He then says he can't go on without eating and drinking. He figures out that whoever is in charge wants him to eat the woman but he decides he is not going to eat her no matter what happens. She pulls him out of the hole and sits beside him. He urges her to leave him alone so he can sleep. She then goes to the door and prays to God in her language. After some time she cries and puts her tear water in the man's mouth. He gets some strength. Afterward she then pulls off the man's clothes and makes love to him. The duo enjoys the moment passionately. As the music plays in the background, moments later he wakes up. Leaving her on the floor he goes to the other vault room and brings his shirt. From inside the coffin, he then covers her with it with no hope of escaping. Just then the vault door moves and he wakes her up. He warns her not to look. The duo walks backwards to the vault door and when it opens they come out to a paradise-like garden. He exclaims and says, I wasn't expecting the sigh of relief the duo smiles at each other and walks holding hands into the garden. The movie ends. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time.